Are you planning to take the MCMCQ and not sure where to begin? I've been there. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alia aka Study Study and I cleared the MCMCQ in March 2025. Now this is our very first YouTube video so hello, welcome to our channel. Uh, Steady Study is actually a place built by me and my study partner Dr. Farhan and through this platform we hope to share valuable insights from our journey. So in today's video, I'll be sharing the resources that I used during my MCMCQ preparation. So if you're just getting started or feeling overwhelmed, don't worry, I got you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon which is somewhere here. Let's begin. I'll be describing everything in this video, okay? So first up, we have the AMC handbook, also called the blue book. Now listen, people really fuss a lot over this book. So let's clear this up right away. Yeah, this book is old and you will notice that some answers are outdated or even incorrect for that matter. But then why do we have to study it? Because every single month, one or two questions directly come from this book and sometimes even from the explanations. That's why I suggest you read this at least once or twice. Just go through it. Don't waste time overthinking the weird or confusing ones. And uh, yeah, now about this book, the first section has some sample MCQs. In the next section, there is a full length trial examination with 150 questions and the final section includes around uh, 411 MCQs arranged subject wise with answers and explanations at the end. Now we have three major question banks, Amidex, M plus X and the new one called eMedicine. In Amidex, the explanations are brilliant. They really try to cover the entire topic in the explanation itself. So basically, you cover the topic by solving MCQs. Next is M plus X. It has more questions than Amidex and you will notice a lot of overlap. Personally, I felt Amidex explanations were more elaborate. But trust me, don't get FOMO. Just stick to one question bank and that's more than enough. Now, recently, AMC has also partnered up with a new app called eMedicine. It's basically another question bank app, okay, and with some great features. So if you are starting now, you should definitely use this question bank. And don't forget, you don't have to mug up these MCQs. You just need to understand the why and not just the what, because that's super important. Another important book is the Red Book. It's Preventive Health and General Practice Guidelines. Now, some very important screening topics are covered in this book. I have posted a YouTube short and Instagram reel regarding the topics you need to study from this. So do check it out. Nothing extra is needed other than those I mentioned, okay? When it comes to screening, stick to the Red Book because that is what AMC follows. Now let's talk about psychiatry, a subject that's often underestimated. Now there is a lot of emphasis on psychiatry in the AMC exam because as IMGs, we don't usually study clinical case-based psychiatry in our home countries, right? And AMC tests exactly that. So this is the area you really need to practice well. Now in terms of the resources, the Kaplan notes for USMLE Step 2 CK are really good for psychiatry. But if you're already, uh, if you've already done it from another source like USMLE First Aid, then that's totally fine. Just stick to what you've done and focus on solving MCQs. So you'll get the hang of it as you go. Now we have John Murtagh's General Practice, the most discussed book. Now consider this book as a reference book only. You are obviously not going to read all 3000 pages cover to cover, right? The simplest strategy would be, okay, hear me out. While starting recalls, read the entire topic from the relevant guidelines. Now we'll talk about the guidelines in my next video. Uh, if something isn't clear, then look up in Murtaz. Just search the topic, read it thoroughly, and that usually clears things up. Now ethics. There's a great book for ethics called 100 Cases USMLE Ethics. The easiest and most effective way to get through it is to finish it in two to three days, ideally with a study partner. Now in one or two cases, there might be slight differences between the Australian ethical guidelines and the US ethics. But once you go through the ethics questions from the Q bank like Amidex, you will be able to spot the differences easily and avoid any confusion. I did not use Anthology Multiple Choice Questions, which is the purple book and the Anthology of Mental Conditions. Since they are older editions and most important topics are already covered in the QBank and the rest, you get to study the guidelines of recall topics that would be sufficient enough. 
Now recalls and exam week strategy. The most important part of the preparation is studying recall topics from the guidelines. But here's what really makes a difference. Do recalls from the same month of the previous year as your exam. Then focus on the three months right before your exam. Revise these well and study those topics properly from the guidelines. These are the most high yield ones. As for the rest, you can expand and go back further if you have time. But I still wouldn't recommend doing more than six months of recalls. Uh, and whatever you do, revise. Because in the end, it's revision that actually makes a difference. Apart from these, the most, most important, I cannot stress this enough, are the exam week recalls. You cannot miss these. They are the game changer questions. Trust me, uh, I'll talk about the exam week strategy and how to approach recalls in my next video, okay? Now, I have a little surprise for you. If you need compiled notes of the topics covered by Amedex and Implesex, we have launched our concise notes in which the question IDs are tagged with those topics. So it's easy to revise and correlate with MCQs. Now, DM me on Instagram at study study 8 if you're interested to check those out. I'll be posting another video with all the details soon. Uh, just remind me how many times I said that. Uh, but yeah, if you're interested, you can definitely reach out. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope this helped. I hope you understand what you need. I hope this video gave you a clear picture of the resources. And if you found this useful, do like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.